we expect big things to happen in Bitcoin, you know, uh, starting from 2023 to 2026, right? With, I expect to get super wealthy, personally, right? I am going to forecast that, <laughs> right? Not just seven figures. So, you know, we're looking at this and you're saying the average return for the stock market is 39%. Well, we already know that Bitcoin and crypto, we can have a 400% a move in a month or three months. So if the stock market, you know, on average is going to go up 40%, you know, possible, or one year after 10%, you know, to me, that gives me, you know, historical reference to say, hey, what about crypto? Because crypto haven't been in a lot of recessions, right? You know, crypto was, was born out of a recession. Uh, back in 2008, 2009. And then you can download the full report, right? So on top of the master my report, there's other reports that we have out here, right? And so that's one of them. Another one that I like is uh, RK. Let me see where is that. Uh, RK. I'm giving you guys how we put the reports together. <laughs> Right. So Arcane Research, all it does is does research. We have a, re a report session. Right. And these reports, uh, that's some other ones. These report comes out every every month, a couple of reports ahead of the curve, December 20th. This is like a weekly report that also um you know, in certain reports that have factual information that help us make better trading decisions. You know, my goal is to get us to the mastermind and then you guys talk about it inside the mastermind chat in the Discord, which it helps everybody get more educated. You know, and that's, this is why we want to share. So here you can download the report. You download the report, it comes up, you know, and this is one for the end of the month. You know, talk about the holiday season, talks about crypto. Uh, you know, so there's a collection of people already doing a lot of the work. And where do we have to look, right? The market is an open book test. And now we can pinpoint some accurate, you know, financial data uh, that these guys have full teams, same way they mastermind. You know, we have a team. And then we leverage that. And then we put it together and try to pick out the best things that's going to help us make more money in the markets. All right. And so even this target rate probability for July 26, we started keeping it and we started having a journal. Um, you know, whether it's 2023 or 2022, you can start taking notes and putting things in a journal that you use, um, you know, quick notes that you can write down, whether it's Notion, whether it is. Uh, and you start, as you see things, you point it out, and put it out because that's going to help you in your trading. All right. Let's see. Okay. So, um, you know, this is what this is what I've been doing all day today. Uh, what the report is going through, reading about the holiday season, and so that's how I'm able to, you know, be updated on the market. Right. And, and basically put these holidays in into my calendar. And so week to week, as we get more information, it's organizing it. Right. What's trending down? What's starting to slow down? So the reason I'm saying that 2023 is going to be a good year, because when we hit a bottom. We make a lot of money when it bounces up. All right. And sometimes it's a little bit of pain when it's going down. It's like an alligator for people that's not expecting it. They don't know how long it's going to go. And a lot of people exit and leave the market <laughs> at the lows, right? And it's almost like they're being drowned to death. And they never catch the, the move back up, you know? And we don't have to be the, we don't have to catch the exact date. We can get, we can, we can catch the month because then we're looking at a, a month or two, you know, of starting to, to rise. And now you can catch a year of upside. And, and, you know, we know what happened in 2017. A lot of people made a lot of money. Um, and then inside of trading, you know, you can accumulate wealth and you can sell as well. You don't have to just hold for dear life going up. You can make money as it's going up. So it talks about the dangers of 300,008 arbitrage, um, you know, grayscale, what they have left. 
And so that gives us more insight into what's going on, right? So I'm not gonna go through this, it's 11 page report and I'm still picking out the things I'm gonna share, but I wanted to give you guys a resource. So actually, let me start putting these inside the, inside the chat. <laughs> yeah, the, that's, that's why they had a mastermind. You know, I wanna show that the value is that, you know, we're trying to save people time, but I don't think they understand that when we say we're working on the mastermind report for two or three days and guys cancel the class, is that it's a lot of information that we're saving you and then explaining it to you, right? So that is worth, you know, that's that's time and then basically simplifying the trades. So the economic events, you know, if we have someone looking at this, because I heard that some people last Friday didn't know data was coming out. Um, you know, nobody, you know, told them, you know, I use this for the next month going forward. But even here going down and looking at the CME and looking at this page, what's the day? Today is the uh, 21st, All right? You know, I'll go and I'll look and see if there's anything that I have to be a concern with. And then I see a date like tomorrow, the 22nd, export sales, um, jobless claims. You know, it just tells me that it may be a little volatile going into the market. And so then overnight, I pull up a futures chart or a crypto chart and say, hey, where's support? You know, uh, where's resistance? And then if I see it high by resistance going into a day with a lot of news, I try to take the short into that into that news at least for some period overnight, knowing that it's going to have a drop. So that's another tactic on the day trades or or right away of just basically having this one economic release calendar, understanding you know anticipating what's next. All right, uh, trading economics, another one that that we use for the report. They come out with a forecast at the end of the month. Um, you know, different analysts. And then I'll read this, right? So our market risen today, the Asian stocks are rising tonight, right? So it's a continuation. And then going into tomorrow, we may be at highs, you know, at some point overnight, three, four o'clock in the morning. And then I start looking at a short opportunity just for temporarily. Maybe it only lasts for 30 minutes, 40 minutes. And then when the market open, it, it runs back. But, you know, this is a uh, trade economics. All right, that's what's up. Good, Renisha. Yeah, we need we need those in the uh, in the mask. I, I want guys to understand that you know the information is being shared. You know, we'll give you all information, but like when you see Crypto Black mentioned micro macro trends or uh, you know a site, you know, and you just go here and look at the jobless claims and you see where we at the retail. You know, that gives you a little bit more confidence in the positions that you're holding, or if we had lows or high. Um, you know, here I'll go into, let's see, on this one here. All right, even on this, right, if you go to stock research and you, you've you been trading Apple, you go into this, you hit Apple, it'll tell you that right now it is 2.5% uh, below the 52 week low, <laughs> right? So people buying Apple now, um, you know, if you're buying Apple now, you're still getting it at a good price, you know, overall. And so uh, we're high, you know, you know, you're actually buying it at the low. So it puts it in perspective that, you know, when people are like, oh man, you know, it's, it's continuing to go down. It may continue to go down, but overall, you know, you're getting it at the 52 week low, which people, they always say buy low, sell high. Well, when it gets low, they never buy. All right. And so an educational resource that I take a look at, let me share this as well. You know, it has a lot about seasonality here. Um, I'll come in and I'll look, and I'll just look and see how the economy is doing, because they had an education session here with economics and then investing essentials. And then they have trading essentials. And these are just news articles that, you know, when I'm looking at the Mastermind Report, um, you know, it's, it's a lot of free, you know, resources to help a trader outside of what we're, you know, telling them. So I'm, I'm just sharing it so you can see it. Um, geopolitical. When we do, when we do forecast the, the report for the first of the year, you know, I'm subscribed to uh, this site. 
and normally they come out with a forecast 2022 2021 you know i have them i have them all 